Well, it's overdue. It's time for me to do an update video about my DIY PVC drum, tumbler drum for your reloading brass to replace the two smaller capacity drums in the Harbor Freight dual drum rotary rock tumbler. So this is a rock tumbler, comes with these two drums and I about two or three years ago, I made a video about making this little tumbler assembly and it was a lot more popular than I ever dreamed it would be. So, But there's a few things that I could improve on it and share with you uh, after having a little more time doing this and, you know, address some of the comments from the previous video. So that's what we're going to do in this video. It's not going to be as detailed as the previous video. I want to keep it as short as I can, but I still want to get out the pertinent info. So this whole, this whole thing is based on this 4-inch PVC pipe. There's a couple of kinds of PVC out there. There's pressure PVC, and that is solid PVC. And then you have this, which is called drain waste vent. This is not for pressure. It's okay for what we're doing, but it's not for pressure. That's important because the construction is a little bit different on this. So the, this shell on the outside of this pipe is uh, PVC, and you can glue to this with your standard solvent weld. This part in here, this is sort of like a sandwich. This part here is is a foam, kind of a foam core. It's hard, but it's it's not solid like regular PVC. Um, this incidentally is also called foam core, is another name for this. And then the inside here is sort of a glazing. It's not really PVC because solvent well glue doesn't work on it. So we have to come up with a different way to, to do that. The size on this is nine and three eighths and then that gives you enough room for the knockout plug and your test cap on the other end and you still have room to fit in here with without you know rolling around too much moving around too much so on the back end here we have what's called a knockout plug this is just a four inch Knockout plug also available wherever they sell this, this stuff usually. And this I did put in with PVC glue. So that has not given me zero trouble. It's had a lot of weight on it. You know, when you put the brass and everything in there and it, I don't support it or anything. It's stuck really good. No leaks. Then we have the test cap, the test plug. This is a four inch and this thing comes with a we call a wing nut and you tighten it you tighten this down and it expands it fits in here nice like so and then it expands out forms a seal while you're tumbling and then you just have to loosen it now the wing nut won't fit inside this housing so you have to get a you have to use a 3 8 nut on there so grab that before you leave the store what else okay so let's get to the interrupters here so when i first put this together um I didn't put any interrupters, nothing in here to break up the flow. And what happened was the longer brass, which is kind of what I made this for, it just sort of laid in here and it just rolled along and it piled up and it didn't agitate at all. It came out cleaner, but it just wasn't, it, it, I let it run and run and it didn't come out like I expected. So I started looking for alternatives. And what I finally came up with after trying different things was I just, just as super simple, I just take these, uh, little pieces of half inch PVC and slice them down the middle and just make speed bumps and place them at different spots in there so that they can allow, you know, they can catch the edge of a piece of brass and cause it to spin, turn around and get pins inside and get better agitation. And that works great. And after using it for a long time, I don't see any need for improvement on that. Now, one thing I'll caution you is the reason these aren't longer or bigger or whatever is because one, I want I want there to be an end to them so they cause the brass to turn around. And also, I don't want these to, you know, I've seen people put sort of like long paddles in there. And what happens is the, the weight piles up and it gets these bumps, however big you make them, the motor has to lift that up. And, and if you had one that was full length, it would actually be 
you know, quite a bit of weight. So that's why I made them like this. One, so they turn, and two, so the mortar didn't have to lift a lot of weight. And like I said, this works fine. Now, in the previous video, what I what I did was I suggested using a hot glue gun. That's what I had used up to that time to put these these little bumps in there, little speed bumps. And that worked for quite a while, but eventually they started coming off one at a time. So I started looking for other alternatives. Now, what I've been using since then is this just plain original Gorilla Glue. And this stuff, you know, they make these great formulas now that basically bond just about to anything. Some weird science, but that has worked for me, and that's all I've used since then. Uh, and I got quite a bit of time on it, so I feel pretty comfortable about recommending that. But there's lots of great glues out there. If you find something that works for you, maybe something you already have, come back and put it in the comments down below. Share with everybody else. Okay, so the other thing, so that was one of the things, was I used a hot glue gun, and eventually that failed. And that's what's in the old video, so that was one reason I wanted to update that. So another thing that was kind of frustrating was, when I was talking, I was just, you know, kind of rambling. And I put this thing together like this, empty with no brass in it, just some pins. And I turned it on, and it sort of had trouble getting going. didn't have enough traction. And I tried to tell everybody at the time that when you load it up with water and brass, it works fine. But that was what, you know, I kind of led people astray with that, and everybody focused on that. And if you go to look at the other video, which I'll link up, there was tons of comments about that. So... I'm going to show you again. We're going to we're going to set this up. I'm going to fill it with uh, 160 cases, and we're going to run it with some water and show you that it works just fine. And uh, we'll we'll finish up with that. All right, so we're getting ready to go here. Just to show you one more time, I got two pounds of pins in there. These are the Frankfurt Arsenal pins, and I just leave them in there all the time. I separate them out and throw them right back in, let them dry out, and that's how I do it. I have, for a test case here, just to show you, I've got, that's about 160 uh, Lake City cases that need to be cleaned. They've just been deprimed and haven't been resized or anything. So for this size tumbler, I like to use Limashine. I use about a nine millimeter case. And people say Dawn. This is actually palm olive in a Dawn container. Uh, I just use dish soap. Give it a little squirt in there. And then we'll throw the brass in and we'll fill it up with water and run it. So this has got the brass and the water in there. Leave a little bit of space for the water to put your cover on. Use a 916 wrench. Tighten it down. You don't have to go crazy on the torque on that. And you have to put this in at the non-motor side. Otherwise, this little stem doesn't have room to run. So just put it laid in here like that. See, it's a pretty good fit. And as you can see, it runs fine. I don't have to put any coatings or anything on it. I don't have any trouble with it. I've been using it like this for a really long time. Um, so anyway, sorry I gave the misconception that it didn't spin without you know, some kind of rubberized material on it because it works just fine. We'll come back in an hour or so and we'll take a look at that. I'll clean it up and show you, show you the last of it. Okay, guys, we're back here. This ran for about an hour and a half or so. I didn't make you sit through the whole thing, so. There they are. They look pretty good. Here's, uh, here's what they started out like. I've got a... It, Incidentally, I have a video on troubleshooting if you're not getting good results with your wet tumbling and your stainless steel pins. I've got another video. I'll link that up at the end. Uh, it's in the in the catalog there. So that's the that's the wrap, guys. I just wanted to show you this, show you that it works and and uh, the thing runs without any sticky tape on it or anything like that. But uh, anyway. If you like the video, uh, click the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you're interested in getting notifications if I put up another video, and uh, we'll catch you later.